I'm gonna be honest, I filmed this about six times. And I've deleted every single one because I have a lot to say and I can never say it all clearly enough. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Maddie. Today is a little different video. I have a lot to say and I tried writing a script and it didn't work that way. So I'm basically just gonna say whatever that comes to my mind. And yeah, this is just something I've felt for a really long time and it's just become more and more apparent to me and I think I need to say it. As an internet personality or YouTuber, whatever you want to call it, I know a lot of other YouTubers and they're my very close friends and I've got to know so many of them way more than I would like to. As you guys know, as supporters, YouTubers and internet personalities tend to all treat their fan bases or supporters or stands or whatever you want to call it very differently and all I have to say about that is it's a very dark world out there and now I'm not saying that your idol is dark or sinister or terrible in any way at all I just think they have a different mindset than I do and the more time I spend with these people the more I come to realize it and the harder it is for me to not say something clearly YouTubers do it for the wrong reason. They make videos for the wrong reasons. Not all of them, but a, f a, f a few or a lot. Now clearly some people do this for the wrong reason and you guys know that. Now if you stand somebody it may be harder for you to say but you know deep down it's for the wrong reason. Now some people are in it for the money or the fame or the connections and you guys know this. Like you're not blind. I guess even the harsher truth is that everybody in some way is in it for these things. I'll use myself as an example because I'm not gonna expose anybody. People could argue that I'm in it for the money. Well, this is my job. I do make my income off of this. If you guys didn't know that, if I stop doing YouTube, I have to get a new job. But that is not the reason I started. It's not the reason I do it. I could easily go get another job. Some people could argue that I'm in it for the fame, but actually I'm one of the people that really, really don't like that part at all. I hate not being able to go to the mall and nobody know who I am. I don't like going to restaurants with my family and people asking for pictures. But at the same time, if I were to go back to a completely normal life, I would feel like a part of me was missing. Now, the most argued one is that I'm in it for the connections or I use people. Well, yes, I am friends with a lot of YouTubers a lot of bigger internet personalities I have to be. I mean, that's what I do. I connect with those people. And people think I use them for views and for numbers, which is a completely not true because I've actually met my lifelong best friends, my brothers and sisters through this, and I would do nothing to hurt these people. The fact that some people think I use my friends is the hardest thing for me to comprehend. <laughs> Now there's one thing to me that is the darkest of them all. It's simply the fact that they just don't care like they should. Now that's not entirely true because as I said before, we do make money off of this and you have to care about your job to keep a steady income, but some people only care about that. Now some people actually care about making videos and they enjoy it. Even fewer people really care about making others happy. But when it comes down to it, I feel a little left out because of how much I care about you guys. And this may be hard to comprehend because I've been in your position. I used to watch YouTubers all the time. It was what I loved. I loved YouTube. I loved watching them. I thought these people were amazing. And it seemed that they all really, really cared because anyone can sit in front of a camera and tell you that they care. But that's why I haven't posted this video yet. I just haven't found a way to put into words to really bring across to you guys that I actually care. I feel like I'm doing a presidential campaign right now. There are so many nights that I sit in bed and I just cry. And I cry not because I'm sad, but because I am so blessed and so loved by so many people and I don't get why. These aren't things I tweet or Snapchat about for attention. Okay, because it's not something I want attention for. I just care. I will meet some of you guys in public and you're so happy that you'll drop whatever you're doing, run over to me, jump into my arms, leave nail marks on my back of how hard you're hugging me and my shirt just soaked in tears of just happiness and I just 
can't comprehend why. You guys tweet me 24-7 about how happy I make you and how much you look up to me and that doesn't quite make sense to me because I was nothing but an average teenage girl. Like I had a very dysfunctional childhood but other than that, you know, I went to school, I did sports, I did nothing special. I'm nothing special. I'm not special. But to a lot of you guys, I'm like your world. One day, you know, I went live on you now and then a few months later I posted a YouTube video and I swear to you, I never ever looked back. And I promised myself that I would do whatever it took to make you guys happy and I would give you the best me I could give for the rest of my life. And the moment you stop tweeting positive things about me or you stop Instagramming comments about how happy I make you, then I'm doing something entirely wrong. I feel like other people just don't see it that way. They don't see it as they were so average they were nothing special before you guys made them the people they are today. It's like you're nothing but numbers to them and that's the hardest thing for me to tell you because it's not true for so many people but it is true for even more and it hurts because I know you guys don't see that. It hurts that I can't have a meet and greet without people asking me how many people were there and then comparing it to the amount of people they had at theirs when it shouldn't matter because the fact, the very fact that one person would show up for a picture is amazing. But that's where everything goes wrong is because other people don't see that as one person. They just see it as one because it's a number. We had one or two. But no, I had two people at my meet and greet. Two humans with emotions and a story and pain and suffering that needs to be dealt with. I had two people that I care about and love so much. I didn't have two people. I had two lives in my presence. People just don't see that and it's not that everyone sees it as numbers. It's not that way. And I know it comes across as that. It's the fact that people forget their roots. They forget when they were average, they weren't special. They didn't have followers. They didn't have numbers. And they forget that without you people, they would literally be nowhere near the place there are, they are today. Yeah, they may be very successful in something else, but they wouldn't be living their dream. And it's so hard for me because you guys make me so happy and you make my dreams so possible and I want so bad to make you so happy and to make your dreams possible and I know you guys are gonna say Maddie you make us so happy like you make us so happy and you tell me that all the time but it's not the same thing because I have hundreds of thousands of people who build me up with positivity every single day and I want to give the same amount of positivity back but I can't I'm one person me as one person cannot give that amount of positivity back to hundreds of thousands of people and it's just something I literally stress about because I want to so bad. I want you guys to feel the happiness and the fullness that I feel and I, I just can't figure out a way to do that. And so I guess that's why I'm making this video because this is for every single one of you individually. Not as numbers but as people I care about. This is not a video for myself. This is not a video for my bulk of subscribers. This is a video for you. The person watching this right now alone in their room who needs to hear something, this is for you because I care about you. I guess this is just thank you. And no, it's not a special occasion because I know that's what thank you videos are for. This is not thank you for so many subscribers. This is not thank you for support of me coming out. This is not thank you for getting me through a hard time. This is not thank you for getting me on tour. This is thank you just for being you. Thank you for being awesome. <laughs> just awesome and full of life and full of hopes and full of dreams and for being my friend. Thank you for being there. Thank you because without you, 
I don't know where I would be, what I would be doing, but it doesn't matter because I don't want it any other way. So I love you more than you know. Thank you. And I'll see you on Thursday. Stay happy. Bye.